So I, I, I have a new uh, little thing I say now, which is that I don't believe in line breaks. I know just what you're asking. I, I am trying to learn to talk about line endings and line beginnings. Because I want each line to begin where it should and end where it should. And for me, a, a line, two, every two lines is not one longer line broken, right? So um, I've changed my practice with lines. Um, it was very important to me not to have end stopped lines when I was first writing. And, and then I realized, well, Philip Levine, uh, Phil Levine said to me, I know what you're doing. You've explained to me about the four beat lines from the hymnal and that you're going against that. And he said, but Sharon, not all of us grew up on that hymnal. And uh, why don't you give us the first four lines, uh, classic, what, uh, however you see that, and then start playing with it. So I've been trying to do that since. I am. I really like writing in a form that has four accents per line, that is not syllabic at all. And then sometimes there's five or even six. Occasionally there's two. I love you know playing around with with all of that um, kind of early arithmetic stuff. And I love scanning poems, other people's poems, not mine, to see what they're doing. And uh, if my instinct is right, that they have wild rhythmic patterns. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I, the way I hid from myself the fact that I was writing in church hymn scansion uh, until I, I didn't know that until I was 55. And I noticed it and I was pissed <laughs> because I thought. I don't want to underline many of the beliefs, many which were misogynist and really kind of cruel, the way this church was interpreted in my family. Um, so, but by that time I realized, yeah, but I'm a formalist, that's cool. And I have a form, that's lucky, I'm grateful for it. So I've been playing with that, but it's very misleading. Because, you know, I change from book to book and then I get to change a book a little and I go back and I move the commas all around. Yeah.